Hey, it's the cat in the hat. What do you know? And the cat in the hat comes back. In this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to not be a bozo and how to catch Mr. Whiskers. That'd make your honey happy. That's right. Deal with it. So you're going to catch Mr. Whiskers. You're probably going to look at the end of the lake here. That's the majority of what's going on here. I'm not talking about these pond cats and pay ponds and everything. I'm talking about these ones that are big, big cats and natural lakes and rivers here. But uh, I'm really going to talk about lake fishing here. But we're going to let's get over here and rock and roll. Woo! So I'm going to go over some tactics, go over some mine recommendations, different rigging tactics in different situations. I'm going to go over what I use myself and recommend it to you. So here we go. By the way, that is a great cigar. That's the number one cigar I smoke. I recommend it. Arturo Fuente Queen Bee, Sun Grown, Colorado Maduro. Great stuff. Anyway, we go, we go, Mr. Whiskers, and we get my setup here. We're gonna need some, uh, you don't need expensive gear, but you're gonna need some stuff that can take a beating for the lack of better terminology here, because these fish will put up a fight and they get big. And then they got bone crushing jaws and chop them, uh, trophy, largemouth bass all the way to uh, throw the crushing plate, man. Kill that son of a gun, man. Woo! They call it cat diesel power for a reason. Cat diesel power. Rolls like a train, sounds like a plane, faster than a chain of sniffing cocaine. Woo! <laughs> Get it done, man. Anyway, we got this rig here. They're uh, simple rods, one dimensional. I use medium power rods, ugly stick elite. If you can see right there, it's got the cork handle for $20 more dollars than the regular ugly stick two that they have out. I recommend these. These have a nicer taper to them. They're lighter and every bit as durable and better quality control. I'd recommend them very much. I've had zero problems with my own, own three of them and I love them. And they work great. They yank them son of a guns out like put up a fight like a splash from beaver tail man. Pulling like a D11 cat man or D9. Woo! There's multiple baits you could use. Every, every place is different. I use worms because the place uh, the place where I fish for the catfish here, the big old channel cats, they, they throw food out for them, the neighbors throw food out for them, and then they got a, they got the, uh, they come out at night, in the late evening, and, uh, and then after midnight, and they're, they're chowing on worms, every third of them, the wiggle the worm in their face, man, throw my ugly stick at him, man, woo! So I use a seven foot ugly stick, I like seven foots. Especially for bank fishing, because I don't need no stinking boat to catch no Mr. Wisher, man. It's up about it. Deal with that. So here, I fish a very weedy lake for them, okay? So, what does that mean? No bottom fishing. Whoa, 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 cat in the hat. We, I tell you, you're supposed to use a boat. You're supposed to fish on the bottom to catch a Mr. Whiskers, man. What are you talking about, man? No, 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 no. Listen to me. Them weeds provide structure for the fish. Tell me about it, buddy boy. So I'm going to tell you right now. I use a clip on bobber rig or slip bobber. I like clip bobs because they're nice and easy. I'm only fishing six, seven feet down. And I put it right above the weeds. And the, and the Mr. Wish would come and get it, man. And smash it, man. And smash it like a ham sandwich. Woo! Anyway. So I use these Billy Boy bobbers here. Little big rough pear shaped ones. And I put a little glow sticks, they come up the right over step, a little glow stick like the sun gun man like the fireworks show man and uh and uh they put that in there and you can see them being legally blind with a stick which was it can be really hard to see. So I gotta have these at night. Hooks. Well hooks like to the better what better what you use for bait. I use night crawlers. So not much bigger than my thumbnail. Okay here. Oh. I recommend these for a whole night crawler of the bigger fish. This is a Odor 2 Watt SSW Octopus hook. Cold hardened steel hook. They hook themselves on these things and these things 
are sticky sharp and can fry a person to death with it. So I'd recommend keeping away from your kids. So, anyway, these hooks are razor sharp and penetrate through a catfish's mouth. They're hard as concrete and they got the sandpaper teeth. So, and they have bone crushing jaws. So, yeah. You gotta have the big, big boy hooks. You gotta have the sharp hooks or Mr. and Mrs. Whiskers, man. Because them might be females, you know? And as far as real size goes and line... Oh, by the way, I also use three normal size shot on these. Three little ones just to get it out there when I need to go. Keep it above the water and float upright. Works right. Looks like it's an arm. Deal with it. I use 14 pound blue box extra tough line. Trilene. This stuff back in the day you couldn't spool six pound on a small reel and have it work. Well, guess what? After years and decades of them making this line compared to the red box extra limp stuff, they finally perfected the technology and now this is more superior than any uh, red box made today. And it doesn't fray in the weeds. You can yank them out of the weeds and the lily pads, and it works great. I just say, oh, I need that 65 pound bird to catch a three pound large pound. Oh, you know what kind of fish I catch? Oh, they're gonna snap that sucker off, man. You know what kind of fish I catch? Oh, come on. They were, they were, they were, they were little, little girl fish, man. Come on, come on. Then them largemouth, man, oh, they don't even fight. The small mouth of where it's at, you want to go for them, for the bass, man. I'll tell you, them large mouth, 65 pound breed, come on. Then have that back in the day to use this stuff. It works. Deal with it. It's a heck of a lot cheaper, too. And for this, I use a 4,000 size Daiwa Ebcast Bait Runner Rail. Now, let me show you this here. This is a really interesting mechanism here so we have 14 pound right here and we have this mechanism with a bait clicker so you can put on free spool let the fish run and they don't feel it they can go close the sucker yank them out yep Woo! well i'm not like a crane man like a big old big old big old friction rig man i'm about it Woo! Well, that is my setup for Mr. Whiskers. And these rods are every bit tough than they handle them big old channel cats that, you know, get as, you know, nearly as big as me. You know, lengths over half my height. And uh, the big old Mr. Whiskers, man, you gotta watch out for their fingers, man, because they'll bite you. And they'll they got them bone crushing jaws, and, you know, they'll tear up your hands. But it's nothing new to me. I'm a working blue collar man myself. So, and. It's best if you fish at night for these fish. And most natural bodies of water, they're primarily nocturnal. So, those are the what I would use myself and what I always have on my line. Now, these big fish can wrap around your pier pilings here where I fish from the docks here. So, it's best to have uh, a fish, uh, something you can handle these big fish with, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the 14 pound, you know, extra tough line, maybe even 17, if you're hooking into a big cat like that. And you can muscle them out of there and keep your rod tip up so you can keep the hook in their mouth from throwing it because they're smart. They know how to fool people, but they don't know how to fool me. <laughs> anyway. Plus, I got a lady that that's it for me. Everything is good, life is good. It makes my honey happy and it makes me too. That's the best part. Anyway. So, you gotta have the extra tough. Red box ain't gonna cut it. They'll cut that line up on the weeds and the lily pads when they make a run. So, you gotta have that extra tough, thick wire. Works every time. And it's more limp than ever used to be. So, after decades of perfecting it, they got it well. So, there concludes how to not be a bozo Catch a Mr. Whiskers, man. Let's tell them about it. So it pretty much eliminates the need for rod holders if need be, too, so with a bait clicker. So uh 
So next, next time, I'll have some more videos coming up on other fishing demos that I can share with, with tactics myself. I've been being in the fish and, tackle, fish and tackle sales business for four and a half years before I started working blue collar. So uh, stay tuned and keep them lines tight and go get the Mr. Richard's man because you know what? I don't care about mandates because I don't date men. Woo! Deal with that.